mechanized, techanized stuff pouring out of our ears, pouring out of our fears. Stuff for today, stuff for tomorrow, we'll beg, buy, or borrow. Can't get enough of that mass-produced sorrow. We're so stuffed with stuff, it's like a post-Thanksgiving meal euphoria. A comatose overdose of inventions gone wild. I guess it's safe to say that when you read between the assembly lines, the stuff never brought us the easy living we were all supposing it would. These poor, inanimate objects don't inspire objectivism or collectivism, unless collective means how much stuff we collect. I object to this pastime, your honor, because it can't be sustained. We think it's ingrained, but it's just a bad habit. This manufacturing, this manufacturing. Pens are good, but conversation is better, and the letter laid down in the sand is the most sacred of all. How could we possibly keep it up? The big era frenzy of making products and moving them around the world. Ironically, we name them goods, as if placing a moral value judgment on them makes them worthy of acquiring. Uninspiring. But it makes me wonder if people are basically goods. Wiping our messy faces with clearly cut woods. Where does it end? Where in the warehouse does it end? We have enough cargo that's come and gone to last until there's no more dawn. Buy all you want, we'll make more. And you'd never believe what's in store. I wonder how we even sleep at night, when the American dream is but an ethereal nightmare of disposable consumption. Don't make the assumption that I'm completely free, but you can save me right now by spending time with yourself. Ashes to industry. Dusty industry. The man-eating plant where we clocked into slavery. It's we who are feeding this child unreconciled imagination defiled. Stuff it as best you can in the garbage can, then off to shopping for more. And it doesn't make us evil, just a bit distracted. From knowing we have all we ever need, it's time we were freed. It's a process that you can't buy. A process that isn't processed. It's saying no more without getting pissed off. It's saying I know more. And then not treating knowledge like a commodity. Because the next best think is coming to your neighborhood and the immaterial is a possession that cannot be held for long. I'd say that karma is the latest trend, but that only creates more karma for me, see? All the cattle on a thousand hills can't pay your bills, the many mansions, global expansions. They say you can't take it with you when you're gone. But they forgot to mention that it can take you with it when it's gone. So manufacture a new paradigm when pure contentment allows for real happiness. Joy ain't stuff, that much is certain. Put the minerals back in the ground like planting seeds for crops of future freedom. Walk on your own two shoes and someday we can learn to make a pair as opposed to importing our importance. Yeah, yeah, it's okay to wipe your ass, but you could fold the teepee and use it again as you clean up your shit. We say we're done keeping up with the Joneses. Time to get down with them, rolled around with them in the stark reality that you are rich as fuck. But freedom from all this manufacturing will make you far richer. <laughs>